an update on our Starlink purchase. So we've had Starlink now for a couple of months and um, we'll talk about how it's gone in a minute. But one of the main reasons we purchased Starlink is because we've been on the road for about eight months now. And the first five months we were traveling through New South Wales and we found in a lot of situations we didn't have any internet access at all. And there were some places that we wanted to go and stay and we weren't able to because we didn't have access to internet and I need that for my work. So we bit the bullet and bought Starlink and um, we're on the residential plan and the reason for that is because one day we do intend to settle down in a house and the RV plan can't transfer back to a residential plan. So we've got a residential plan, we've added on portability um, when we're away from the address that we ordered the Starlink to. Yeah, so it's been a bit of a game changer for us in that um, you know we can get access anywhere, that we can get a view of the southern sky um, to give the dish um, clear access. Um, to assist with that, um, I've uh, mounted it up on a, an extendable pole uh, and we're just about to show you in a minute how we uh, got that mount. On average, we're getting sort of 150 megabits per second. Um, which is just outstanding considering what we're getting with Telstra, you know, sometimes it'd be point something. Yeah, it wasn't good. <laughs> if at all. And the one thing for me is that I have lots and lots of um, online meetings um, work, being a remote worker uh, and I don't have any issues with dropouts or anything like that on my online meetings. Um, it's, yeah, like Steve said, it's been a game changer. <laughs> project happening today. Um, we've had our, um, our Starlink, Starlink system now for about uh, a month or so uh, and it's been working great. Um, just consists of uh, this little dish and uh, you can see the cable there. It runs into the van into a router um, and then uh, that's what uh, works our Wi-Fi. Uh, you need access to clear sky so they can get a clear view of the satellites um, and the app that we use uh, shows you a little map so that's it there uh, and the red bits indicate any uh, obstructions in between the dish and the satellite array and that amount of obstruction we've found doesn't impact us too much uh, what we are going to do just to cover us off in case we get into any areas uh, where that might be a little bit different is uh, I went and grabbed this yesterday. Uh, this is an extendable um, pool accessory tool. I also got this fitting, uh, which is just a, uh, that's a 32 millimeter irrigation joiner, which will fit on the pole. And then again, onto the base of the dish, mounting that up and getting it up nice and high. So see how it goes. Uh, that's step one. Now let's um, let's get the Starlink onto it.
see how we go. do run the cord through the van window we are able to lock the window still so it's not too much of an issue and it doesn't damage the cord at all we put it through the top of the window it does mean that during the day we can't open the window blind fully we can do it halfway for us that's not a big issue um, but we are um, researching now ways to um, connect it to the van through like a plug um, we think we've got that sorted and but that'll be another video. Currently we are still storing um, the Starlink dish in the packaging that it came in, in the box. Um, it doesn't quite go back in the way that we took it out, but that's okay. It just sits on the floor of the van when we're traveling, so it's not an issue, but we are going to find a bag of some sort um, or some sort of other storage that folds down smaller when it's not in use so that we can store it a bit easier but also fits the Starlink so that uh, is a work in progress. we tie it onto the back of the van um, just with some cam straps um, it's nice and tight doesn't go anywhere and um, also gives us the flexibility to move it around the van to um, to get the best um, uh, clear view of the sky and we've had a couple of wind storms and we haven't had any issues with it um, you know falling over or moving around or anything like that it's really secure so we're really confident um, that that's a great op option for us and as Steve said it's completely portable and if we do need to take it down because there is a big storm we can just put it back on its um, mount on the ground as well. Yeah. So overall what are your thoughts on the Starlink? Well I think overall the way that we've got it set up is, um, is really workable um, that'll evolve over time as we work out better ways to do it such as um, how we actually get the cable into the van once we work out an appropriate um, plug, I think it's uh, an RJ45 connector that they talk about, but that does involve actually cutting the cable, so that's uh, kind of, you can't go back sort of thing. Um, but look, we'll, uh, we'll keep researching and have a look uh, in due course, but overall, we're really happy with it. Uh, it's been a game changer for us, and uh, if you are thinking about it, um, I think we'd probably highly recommend. Definitely.